Untitled Boxing Game. This game has a couple problems, uh, like the dodging system. We'll get to that once I start the review. And the monetization seems a little funky. I'll also explain that once we get to the review. And animations? Good. Good. I'll, I'll get more in depth when we get to the review. So let's get to the review. Untitled Boxing Game Review. Alright, so what is Untitled Boxing Game? Untitled Boxing Game is pretty much a battleground game, but with a unique twist. Instead of just being an open arena, there's a bunch of small arenas that you get in to fight another person with boxing styles. And these boxing styles you roll for. And every one of these boxing styles has a unique aspect to it, like a dash or a special dodge or an extra attack or something like that. All of this is luck based though. All of this is luck based. All of like your style, whatever you pull for gloves, all of it is luck based. All of it. So, you might have the best style, you might have the worst, I don't know. That's the base game. You get the dodge, you get the punch, you get a heavy punch, and then there's also the perfect dodging. And we'll get to the perfect dodging in one second, because perfect dodging is also this game's biggest problem, as well as one more thing. And if they just fix these two problems, I think this game would be ten times better. So let's get to that. So, you know how I said about the perfect dodge system was kind of like, eh? Firstly, it's very difficult to actually punish a perfect dodge attempt. It has the same commitment as a regular dodge, so a style with a good dash doesn't, it's pretty much the exact same. The attacker commits to a light attack, and the defender commits to a dodge. If the perfect dodge lands, the attacker gets punished with a heavy or an ult for just throwing out a light attack that was basically mildly predictable. If the light lands, it's still only a light, so it won't be enough. If it whiffs without a perfect dodge, you can still punish the guy who tried perfect dodging. This means the defender always has to commit to less, and the attacker is always risking to get hit with a heavy or an ult. Meanwhile, the defender doesn't have to care about any of that. This means if the perfect dodge requires a special type of dodge, like press E to perfect dodge, where you don't do perfect timing, you are wide open to getting hit, then you would actually be committing to the perfect dodge rather than just dodging. You don't commit to perfect dodges, that's the thing, you just do them. That's the biggest problem with them. Also, there's no timeout feature in this game, so you can play keep away forever, basically. There needs to be a timer, like actual boxing, 90 seconds. 90 seconds per knockout, maybe 60 seconds per knockout. Make it like rounds in that way. Because people just tend to just hide and not attack sometimes. And it would also help aggressiveness be more rewarded. All right, let's get to the last thing, monetization. So as I said, styles are very important to this game. And you have to spin for them, which in a fighting game, spinning for advantages is pay to win, by definition. Because you all don't have 11 play fields. Just by definition, it's pay to win. I'm not saying you can't be good with the good styles, but the better styles are obviously way better than the worst styles. So, by definition, it's a pay to win. Block through players will understand this. Well, will not understand this, because block through is technically pay to win, just because you have the ability to pay to progress, and that's what pay to win actually means. Sorry, if you didn't know that. So, this is technically pay to win to get the styles. It's 350 Robux for 50 spins, not the craziest thing. It's 1% for the, uh, the, the styles you want. And it's 700 Robux for 100K cash, which I think is not enough cash. That's only like, what, three to four purple drops? Purple uh, items you can buy from the shop? It's not a lot, it's not a lot. That's also like $8. I think that should be like increased to like 300K. Other than that, Montation is not too bad. A little predatory, but what Roblox games aren't. Overall though, I think this game is really fun for like a few minutes, maybe like an hour with the, like a friend or two. Yeah, so what do I give it? Uh, better than the average game on Roblox. Give it a 6.5. I think it, that's what it deserves. All right, well, uh, if you comment a game, you guys want to see it, like and subscribe, Zazels and Zazets. Y'all listen up, let me tell you a story. How the game is supposed to be all about, about glory. But let me break it down, it's nothing but lies Untitled boxing game, it's paying the rise Yeah, it looks slick with the graphics, I ain't gonna lie But when it comes to gameplay, it's just passing you by Gotta spend your own bucks just to stay in the race With the skill, it's all about the chase I stepped in, went for a challenge, something new But all I got was microtransactions out the blue Gotta pay to win, pay that the way it go But let me tell you, UPGs is feeling low I
stepped in Hoping for a challenge, something new But all I got was microtransactions out the blue Gotta pay a bill